Good evening. Around a thousand people have been gathering in Bristol tonight as the Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn brought his leadership campaign to the West. At the rally, Mr Corbyn pledged that no person or community would be left behind in modern Britain. He also vowed to win over swing voters in the West. We asked people who turned out to hear him why they were giving him their support. It's nice to see um, a left-wing politician actually be left-wing. Um, I, I do personally feel that the Labour Party has become increasingly right-wing over the past few years. Politics feels very insincere and has done for a long time and I feel like the Jeremy Corbyn, he's sincere and he says what he means and he stands behind what he means. It's, he's not trying to appeal to people because he wants to be in power. But with Bristol's three Labour MPs refusing to work under Mr Corbyn and with Labour failing to win key seats in the West at the last election, our reporter Adam Fleming asked him how he hoped to lead his party to success. This part of the world is full of seats that Labour needs to win if they're going to be the next government. How are you going to convince swing voters and people in places like Gloucester to vote for you? that we'll deal with the issues of inequality in Britain, we will deal with the issues of the deficit on infrastructure investment, on railways in particular, all across the South West, and we will deal with the issues of access to bus services and rural poverty. We're about saying, quite simply, nobody and no community should be left behind in modern Britain. The city's Labour MPs resigned from your shadow cabinet. How are you going to get them back on side? I'm happy to work with every Labour MP. Uh, they are obviously having a huge contribution to make to our country and to our community. I'm disappointed that some of them decided to resign from the shadow team. There is a leadership election going on. At the end of that, we're going to come together. And I'm very determined that we shall put forward a constructive economic policy, which is the alternative to austerity and cuts, which is about investment, which is about growth, which is about giving every young person a real opportunity in our society. It's been a big day for the leadership contest in terms of the rules for who can vote. Um, the High Court saying that the NEC were wrong to bar people who joined after January. Uh, it now seems that the party is going to fight that ruling. What's your reaction to that? Well, there's going to be an appeal heard on Thursday uh, from the judgment that was given today. The judge seemed very clear that his decision was that all members of the party should have a right to vote in the leadership contest. Surely that has to be the right decision. Obviously, the court will make its view known on Thursday. Aren't you worried this is causing chaos, though? It's not chaos. It's going to be a decision made on Thursday, and that will be the end of the matter. Jeremy Corbyn speaking to our reporter, Adam Fleming.